This is Patrick Hancock here again with the Able Gamers Foundation, this time with a PC game called Frozen Synapse. It's a turn-based, tactical, squad-based shooter um, that's uh, it's a lot of fun and very accessible, I'm happy to say. So before I get into exactly how this game plays, let's check out some options. Um, you aren't currently able to remap any of the controls uh, or even um, change the mouse sensitivity. That being said, you do play almost the entirety of the game with just the mouse. So um, that should be uh, good news for many people. As you can see here, you can use custom colors to uh, change the units. The default is uh, green for your units and red for the enemy units so it's a it's a very wel welcomed addition to add custom colors uh, as you may be able to tell I changed mine to white and left the enemies red um, ghosts and enemy civilians are left the same and then from the civilians I made yellow just because they're all very um, contrasted colors for me and it's very easy to tell uh, being colorblind myself and you can also disable the in-game backgrounds and the menu background. Uh, the menu background I'll do right now, as you can see, just boop, it's gone. So uh, that's nice. It uh, can make things easier to see in case you're having troubles. And then I'll show you what the in-game backgrounds look like before and after. Uh, so let's just uh, jump into a uh, skirmish here. There's the campaign. This is a very well done tutorial uh, that shows you, you know, the ins and outs of everything that you'll be doing. Um, you can even generate skirmishes if you want to. Um, there's lots of mods, tools, and the developers are really um, almost encouraging people to mod the game and you know play around with it. So that's great to hear. But let's just go into an instant skirmish for now against the computer, and I'll show you exactly how it plays and what it looks like. So as this starts up, you'll see, start with the planning phase. Now I have unlimited time to do this, um, there's no time constraints at all. And as you'll see, my units are the white ones, his units are the red ones. These little symbols next to them tell you what kind of unit they are. This guy has a rocket launcher and if I click on him, down here in the bottom, it'll tell me he has a rocket launcher just in case. Um, you need that. This guy has a shotgun, and this guy has a machine gun. Now they all have different properties, which you'll learn throughout playing the, the game. Uh, and they're mostly they're pretty obvious. And as you can see, since I'm playing um, while connected to the server, I can get challenged to a game at any time. And if I hit OK, we're just going to start playing the game. But I'll get more into the multiplayer in a second. Um, so like I said, almost everything is done with the mouse. And it's my job to give these guys orders. So if I click on this guy, and if I right click over here, I can add a waypoint. And that means he'll just walk there. Now I can do a ton of other things, um, which are again all explained within this tutorial. And throughout the story, and as you gain more experience playing the game, um, you'll know when and where to use all those options. So if I click on this, I can have him aim in a certain direction once he gets here. So I want him to aim that way, uh, towards that guy. Um, and if I wanted to, I could have him wait a period of time before doing anything. And then he would wait. But for now, we don't need that. Um, I can even simulate what the enemies are going to do. Um, I can guess and simulate what they're going to do. Um, I'll never know for sure. but. Um, if I had to guess, I would assume this guy would kind of shoot in this direction to try to take him out. But I should be able to get there in time. So if I hit this space, or the, if I hit the space bar or this button right here, 
it'll do, run a simulation. Now see, I lose that fight because the rocket gets me before I get to shoot him. Um, now if I tell him to continue on site, that means even though he sees him, he won't shoot until he gets here. So then if I run this again, nope, still doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to have this guy just kind of get out of there and then maybe aim this way at him. Let me see if that works. Nope, doesn't seem he can get out in time. If he shoots this in this direction, he may not, you never know. But regardless, um, and like I said, the only thing that's not done with the mouse is if I want to delete orders. So if I want to delete this specific order, like say this is over here, so I don't want this, I can hit the delete key and that specific order will go away. But if I hit backspace, the last order will go away. Um, so there's no way to do that with the mouse. As you can see here, there's no like delete order button. So hopefully we can get something like that in the future, but um, you never know. So let's try that. Maybe put him over here first. And then, I don't know, let's have this guy walk over here and just shoot a rocket this way. And we'll just have him run here and then I can have him duck. Because these smaller, lighter blue things are kind of like half walls, you know? You can take cover behind them, you can duck, and stuff like that. Um, so, until I hit this prime button, this is all changeable. Um, I can cycle through my units with the middle mouse, and I'm moving the camera by hitting right click, holding right click, and then dragging. So, um, just, you know, let's just see how this works out. I didn't really plan too much, but... So, until I hit that button, like I said, nothing is final. But once I do, it shows you the outcome, big text. And, oh, yep, he did exactly that. Alright, so that's the basic gist of it. And, um, these lights in the background are what get turned off when you turn off the background in the game. So, um, I can, I can watch that turn again just to see how how it went. I can look over here this time. I got that guy. Looks like this guy might survive. Nope. Yep. He's still alive. So, um, so you're not time, you know, no pressure or anything. Even in multiplayer, I'll, I'll get out of this for now. Even in the multiplayer, and I'll disable in game background so you can see what it looks like in a second. Um, you're not required to play at the same time. Uh, if you look here, it can it'll send you emails when it's your turn. So as you can see here, I have one game which requires a turn. So I can just load that up. And then it shows our stats. I haven't played much or at all really, except this one. Now, in this, we already did the first round. As you can see, that just happened. Um, and this mode is a dark mode, which means um, unless I have a clear line of sight, I, c I don't know exactly where they are. So like, these are the ghost colors that you saw on the custom colors menu. And uh, these are the enemy colors. So I can see this guy, because he can see this guy. But this guy disappeared as soon as he went behind there, so I don't know where he is. I can assume he's going that way, but that's it. Um, and as you can see, those lights in the background are now gone. And unfortunately, I lost my rocket launcher guy. But anyway, um, so yeah, I can make this turn whenever. As you can see, my opponent is currently offline, but once I make this turn, he'll be notified, and then he'll make his turn, and we'll go back and forth however we please. So you're never, ever timed to make a turn. So that's good news, too. So in a nutshell, that's Frozen Synapse. It's got 55 campaign missions, a fairly robust multiplayer these are all the game modes you can play um, there's five each with light and dark versions light is when you can always see their location uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this I hope it's been sufficient enough to address any questions or concerns if you have any more please head over to ablegamers.com and feel free to ask them thank you